If you're into fun and you love to play. If you like funny jokes, they put you away. If you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around. And if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool. Ooh, little buddy, you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be. Hey, it's Land Chops, play along with kids come to play along in fun things and all we ever do. Yeah, it's Land Chops, play along. Come join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. Make a muscle, squeeze it tight, really squeeze with all your might. Now the other arm, let me see just how strong you've grown to be. Make two muscles, left and right. Come on and pump it up. Out of sight. Hey, you're getting strong. Ooh. Now let's go back to this song. Lamb chops, play along. With kids come to play along. And fun things are all we ever do. Yeah, it's lamb chops, play along. Join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Yeah, and especially you. Sherry, tell me the story about the little boy whose name was Tiki Tiki Timbo, no sin nimbo. Hoy boy, busky poi, pondo hickey, pon pon nicky, no me Adam poi. Yes, that really was his name. I wouldn't fool you. He lived in China long ago when the Chinese people had a custom. That custom most peculiar went like so. If you love your child and want the world to know it, do not give your child a little name like Wong. If you love your child, the proper way to show it is to give your child a name that's very long. Like for instance, Tiki Tiki Timbo, no sin nimbo. Hoi boy, bosky poi, pondo hickey, pon pon nicky, no me Adam poi. Now this little boy, Tiki Tiki, yeah, 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 we know who you mean. Well, he had a brother named Choi. Choi, that was it, Choi. Nice little fella, but obviously not the favorite. Still, the two brothers got along very well together, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Now their mother said, one bright and sunny morning, do run out and bring some apples into me. But before you go, I must give you boys a warning Do be careful when you climb the apple tree Do not climb on the branch that hangs over the well For I fear that that branch is too thin If you climb on the branch that hangs over the well You might well fall in so out they went, and sure enough, Tiki Tiki Timbo, no sin nimbo, Hoi boy, busky poi, Pondo hickey, pon pon nicky, No me Adam poi, Fell into the well. <laughs> now the poor brother Joy, Nearly frightened to death, Scrambled down and ran home right away. When he got in the door, He was so out of breath, he could barely say. Oh, mother, a terrible thing has happened. Tiki tiki timbo, no sin nimbo. Hoi boy, busky poi, pondo hickey, pon pon nicky, no me Adam poi, has fallen in the well. <laughs> Said the mother, we need help. Get the gardener, hurry, Choi. The mother said, Help us save our Tiki Tiki Timbo, no sin nimbo. Oi boy, busky poi, pondo hickey, pon pon nicky, no me Adam poi is at the bottom of the well. <sighs> so the gardener came along with his ladder and he lowered it down the well and there was a lot of yelling and screaming. But then up came Tiki Tiki Timbo, no sin nimbo. Oi boy, busky poi, pondo hickey, pon pon nicky, no me Adam poi. And he was cold and he was wet and he was very nearly drowned. And from that day on in China, they are not quite so peculiar. They give their favorite children little names. 
maybe that's why you have little names like John and Julia and June and Jane and Jennifer and James. Anyway, Charlie Horse, would you want a name like that? No, I like Charlie Horse. It suits me. How about you, Lamb Chop? No, I wouldn't want a name like, um, um, what you say his name was? Tiki tiki timbo, no say nimbo. Hoi boy, busky boy. Pun no hickey, pun pun nicky. No me Adam boy. Cause it takes too long to say. Oh, I'm tired, Robin. Look, Cherry, tell us a story while I rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what kind of story? Surprise us. Surprise you. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys the story about the ugly duckling. Oh, yeah, the ugly duckling story. Oh, you've heard it? No. All right, once upon a time... Oh, you know, we know how the story starts. Get on with it. Oh. All right. On a shore near a lake, a mother duck sat on a sofa. Sat on a sofa? Ducks don't sit on sofas. <laughs> No, dear. The mother duck sat on a nest full of what do you think was the eggs? Nest? That's a lumpy thing to sit on. Eggs. Well, the mother duck was waiting for the eggs to scramble so she could have bacon and eggs and toast. No, no. no. <laughs> she was waiting for the eggs to hatch. And when baby ducks or baby chicks come out of a shell, that's called hatching. And so after a couple of weeks, she felt the first of her little ducklings begin to peck through their eggshell. And soon out hatched ten little Indians, one lady to <laughs> Out came ten beautiful little, what's a baby duck called? Duckling. Duckling, right. However, in the nest there remained one very large, unbroken, unhatched egg. And a few hours later, out popped... Popcorn. No. <laughs> popped a baby bird, but instead of being a beautiful little yellow duckling, this one was a large hot dog. No, it wasn't. Oh, you're being very silly today. No, this baby bird was big and not very cute, and the other ducklings took one look at this clumsy creature with stubby feathers, and they began to laugh, and they called it an... Ugly duckling. All day long, the little ducklings played on the lake, but they never invited the ugly duckling to join them, and this made him so sad. Oh, this is tragic. Well, as summer turned to fall, all the mama ducks and their ducklings flew south to avoid the winter snows. What did they put in their suitcases? What suitcases? <laughs> no, but you, you know, the suitcases had their stuff in it so they could spend the whole winter in the south. No, darling. Ducks don't have any stuff, so they don't have any suitcases. The ugly duckling stayed at the lake, for he was too ashamed of himself to go with the rest, and soon ice began to form. And finally, the lake was frozen solid, and the ugly duckling was forced to live in a clump of weeds on the shore. He <coughs> lived in the ice, and he became a duxicle. A duxicle? What's a duxicle? It's like a... No, a duxicle is an icicle made out of duck. <laughs> okay. The ugly duckling shivered in the weeds, like I said. <gasps> shivered in the weeds until spring arrived, and when it got warmer, guess what happens to the ice? Melts. 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 And one day the ugly duckling saw a flock of swans. What's a flock? A flock is a big bunch of swans, beautiful swans. They landed on the lake and they swam up to the ugly duckling, but he hid his face in shame. Why do you hide your face? They asked. Because I'm such an ugly duckling, he said. Yeah, the, duck, the swans laughed. They said, you're a beautiful swan. Just look at yourself. And the ugly duckling looked down at his reflection in the water. And instead of an ugly duckling, he saw that he was a... Swan. A beautiful swan. And he had a long, graceful neck. And instead of stubby feathers, his feathers were long and fluffy. And the duckling spread his large wings. And he saw that he had grown to be a beautiful swan. Swan. Everyone agreed that this was the most beautiful swan they had ever seen, and from that day forward, never again was he called the... Ugly Duckling. That's it? Yeah. You call that an ending? Well, well how do you want to end the story? Come on, let's end it for her. Everybody. Okay. And they live happily ever after. You know, there's lots of ways